Pressure makes diamonds, and I'm gonna have the best diamond on that stage, I promise. It's getting grapefruit. I don't cook at all. It's like the best part of the day. I like having that routine. I like having something to like look forward to and like and doing like when the off season I can kind of just do whatever I want and I don't I need that structure you know so I like being in prep and having that structure doing the same thing every day eating the same meals every day it's that world famous dead center grapefruit I should have got some new ones we were just there too I don't know I'm so picky like if there's like any bruising I won't eat it my mom used to get pissed at me because she would buy it and then I wouldn't eat it. I'll always find like a flaw. It's more than just being in the gym. It's what I'm doing outside the gym. That's what's going to help separate me. We have those natural stresses from life that you have to deal with. So I make sure that I just stay focused. I stay home. I don't need to be going out at this time. It's just like a boxer. They, they go into their camp and they don't do anything but eat, sleep, and train. And that's what I'm doing. What up, bro? Appreciate you, bro. You already know. Thanks, brother. What we got here? Oh, we just picked up food, man. See the B-Flex? You clean Chicago? More shrimp and fish. <laughs> Two bags of shrimp and fish. So I get these delivered uh, Monday and Thursday every week. If I were to have to cook all of this, Per day, it's saving me maybe two to three hours a day. You know, when you were starting out, you were cooking everything just like... Hell yeah. I would be at Sam's Club, Costco, getting bags of meat, coming home, cooking it, cooking all day. Like, they are a really important part of my prep and my lifestyle. Shout out Eat Clean Chicago. The Arnold Classic, I got third there, that's this one. And then right after I did the Hawaii Pro, I won the Hawaii Pro. Right after that I did Sacramento. I won Sacramento. And then right after that I did Salt Lake City and got second place. And then took about three months off the summer and started prep for the Olympia, came back, won the Mr. Olympia. A week later, went to Korea and won the Korea Pro, first place. Two weeks later, went to Japan, and I won the Japan Pro. And then two weeks later, I went to China, and I won the G-Chain Classic China Pro. We had already planned these shows back in June of that year. So whether I won the Olympia or not, I was going to compete in Korea, Tokyo, and China. Normally, when you win the Mr. Olympia, that's the only competition you do, so to do multiple competitions outside of the Olympia is unheard of in all in any division. Um, so I wanted to just make history and do something different. I'm continuing to do, do, do it different and bring something new to the table, bring something new to the Mr. Olympia physique title. We're here at my parents' house, Bartlett's, the one of the first places we moved to after moving from the city. My family is originally from Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean. I was born on the south side of Chicago, grew up there for a few years, and then we came out here to the suburbs, where I pretty much went to grade school, middle school, and high school out here, and, and they're still here. We moved out here in 1996, and we've been here since. Mm -hmm. 
Brandon comes from a large uh, family because uh, his mom has uh, nine uh, brothers and sisters, and and uh, and I had seven brothers and sisters. So. Did you ever think that your son would be Mr. Ezekiel Olympia? Oh no, <laughs> no. Uh, you know, I had a lot of uh, gym equipment down in the basement. Yeah. And, uh, I always remember the bench press. The bench press, the yeah. Bar, you know, and uh, so Brandon would work out there, and uh, but we never thought uh, that eventually he would be into uh, competing on a professional level, you know. Um, so when he uh, when he decided that's what he wanted to do, okay, we said okay, let's well, let's come up with a plan. I had the vision where I wanted to do this as a career and, and for my life. So I had to really prove myself and convince them that I can make this a career, I can make a life out of this. Um, so now that I finally have and they're seeing what I've done throughout the years, they're so supportive. They're at all my shows now, Korea, Tokyo, China, they're, they're at all my shows supporting me. They're at all the expos that I, um, that I appear at, all my appearances, they're always there for me and I'm, I'm just really just grateful, you know, to have a support system like that. Down here, huh? Everything's run here. When the orders come through, you know my mom will uh, fulfill them and get them sent out. Basically, all everything you see here are things that I was into. So I'm like, if I'm into socks and wearing bracelets, like let me make my own instead of buying someone else's socks. So that's where the socks came from and the bracelets. Since Brandon's been a child, he's been easy to work with. So I was able to take some of my work experience and some of my schooling and Brandon went to, Brandon went to school and we made some, some mistakes in, in the beginning, but learning from it and we even using some of the mistakes, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with bodybuilding for me and making it a career, it was like, what am I gonna do after? How am I gonna set my life up? Because when I go, at a, when I have a full-time job, I have 401k set up, savings, I have insurance. But with bodybuilding, you don't just get that from being a bodybuilder. So starting Big Waves gave me the opportunity to have a savings plan, have insurance, um, have a business, and, and actually thrive and, and become successful. The major part that winning of uh, Mr. Olympia was to see the impact, not only see it, but feel it. The, the sound of the audience uh, just, just, just rocked my, my heart. The championship was f for him because of all of the sacrifices, you know, that he has made. Family events that we had and he, he had to miss out on. Of all of the, uh, uh, the good food, that, you know, that his mom cooked that he he, he, he didn't eat and didn't want to eat. And I was happy that he won because he deserved that, that championship, because he worked for it. And that's what, that's what made me happy and made me very proud. So I just got a notification that Mr. Olympia page just posted me. The caption is, will defending champ Brandon Hendrickson defend his title against the stat class of men's physique pros at this year's 2019 Olympia weekend? Tell us in the comments below what you think. <laughs> is that motivating you or is it? I love it. I want all the pressure. I need that pressure. I react way better under pressure. Last year, people doubted me. Well, the past six years, I've been doubted every single year, and every single year I've shown up and showed out, and I've progressed. Even if I didn't win, it was a win for me because I progressed. So now, as a champ, they want every. I got a target on my back. I got all the pressure I need. Pressure makes diamonds, and I'm gonna have the best diamond on that stage. I promise. You can't really avoid certain comments. It's adversity. Dealing with adversity. How do you deal with it? So for me, 
sometimes I'll just put my phone away, don't look at it. Um, there's some times where I get triggered and I want to respond, but then I have to remind myself, don't respond. That's just, haters have a job and they're, I'm just letting them do their job and I have a job as well. And that's to become the champion and remain the champion. So that's my job. That's all I need to focus on, not what anyone else has to say. Everyone has their own opinion about me, whether it's good or bad, but all I need to focus on is the job I need to get done and that's remain the champion.